and when I cast. Probably not, but I'm asking. In the bottom right corner of Akalon Waste, we will have none other than the illustrious, the bold, the sometimes bad-mannered Idra. He's not going to return the good luck have fun sent by his Protoss opponent. Kapolk. Kapok. Kapoch. Kaposh. I don't know. Anyways, this will be a ZVP on Akalon Waste. I love this map. The matchup, I've had some success in the matchup. I 7 gate everybody. It's very fun to do. Other than that, I still don't like it at all. Um, but but we will see what happens here. That pylon over here probably didn't go for a forge fast. It's banned. Pretty basic stuff. Pretty much every map allows the Protoss to do that right now because it's it's just a safe opening and I don't know what else you can really do sometimes. Gateway expands are sometimes blind countered by a lot of lanes really early on and then you're just really at a loss. He's actually going to go Forge first and then the Nexus because he saw the pretty early spawning pool. Those lanes are already on the map. Will he start a cannon? He does need one right now. The longer he delays that, the more dangerous things get if those lanes do try to get into the main. There goes the cannon. That will take out two lanes while they run by. But there would still be two more. Yeah, they can't do a whole bunch of damage, but if they keep poking in and out, they will delay your mining time sometimes. And if you don't react accordingly, you can do a lot more damage than what they cost. Is going to throw down a second pylon. That wall is not nearly complete, though. Will he throw down another building? I, he's not going to have time. The cannon's not even going to finish. And now these lanes are here. He's actually going to go for the cannon. I don't know if I agree with this at all. Because now those lanes are all going to die. Uh, that was a bit of a miss, Micro. We, he did bring some probes down. They were going to transfer. Transferring them a little too early. That still does have another, about, what, 20 seconds on it to go. But since he saw the Forge Fast Span, and because of this pylon being here, he decided to double its span in normal third locations. And one of these, of course, has to be the fourth location, but hey, not today. They are both the second and third. They are both the, the natural in this situation. We do have the Cybercore coming out immediately after that gateway finishes. Pretty good timings on all that. Also getting the Double Jazz in his main will allow for some fast tucking up to whatever he decides. I really like the 7 day play. I really like the Robo play with the Warp Prism. Any form of DT transition or something like that. I beat the first Zerg Masters that I beat. I beat with a Warp Prism 7 or er, 6 gate and I threw in DTs and I felt amazing. It was really good game. If Mr. J Money would ever cast that, that would be amazing. But he doesn't like me anymore more. Anyways, the Zealot will complete the wall in. Drones are transferring. Lanes are killing rots. They are very hungry Zerglings. They will even eat rots. That in the arms of the angels feed your Zerglings. I don't know the rest of the words. Just make sure you feed your lanes. Do a warp gate on the way for the Protoss player as well as that plus one. That does set up for a pretty well timed 7 gate or any kind of all in. A lot of Protoss plays, especially in PBZ, do rely on those all ins if you have been seeing the top level play. Yeah, you can go into Sky Toss off of three or four bases. Yeah, you can try to macro up into Robo and all that. But it's just a lot harder to do. It's so simple to just play an all-in or play that sky toss. And the sky toss is something that I actually don't do very often just because every time I try, I mess up something incredibly stupid. And I just, I, it's just not very pretty. <laughs> Excuse me. Roach Warren on the way, though. Maybe he wants to be safe against any form of all-in that could be coming. Those Roaches, while they are not the most effective unit, they do definitely help more than a little bit. He's also getting his Zergling speed. He got gas really late, but it didn't really matter because he just wanted to make drones on drones. He does have 42. Not making very many more, though. Only three at a time. Would like to see that change very quickly, but he's spending so much into lair and tech like that, as well as overlords, that he can't really make any more at this time. There is a probe. What are you doing, you devious little, little guy right here? Three gateways going down, and there is a time where you can do a little bit of a four gate pressure off of the two bases. We will see if he decides to go with that as well with the with the air harass. The phoenixes have not been started just yet. Two zealots are going on the right side of the map. I think they're going to meet this probe right here. 
And he actually just trapped his probe for a second there. Uh, I've made that mistake many times. Well, not many times. Let's give myself some credit. No, don't fly the Phoenix over here. He could have just moved the Stalker over here, but now the Phoenixes have been scouted. He does throw down Spore Crawlers immediately. And that means that the Phoenixes are not going to be very useful. We do have Lings running up the right side of the map. They will meet the Zealots, but I heard Zealots uh, pretty pretty good against Lings. These two Zealots will get surrounded, or at least one of them. But here comes the Cavalry. The rest of them coming in here. This pylon has finished. The Phoenixes are here to clear out Overlords as well. The plus one armor will make those Zealots tank against those Lings for days and days, a week maybe. If they're lucky, Robo has started for Protoss as well. He's trying to get that pylon. That's not going to be the case, though, as four more Zealots are warped in. If this third goes down, that is very big for the Protoss player. He will get at least one Queen, but there are Roaches here. More units being warped in as well, though, and the Phoenix is just being annoying. If you can supply block your opponent when in a situation like this, that means that they cannot make any more units to, to help defend. The Roaches and Queens are already on the run, and more and more units will be warped in. He does have a... Quite a bit of room to warp in more units as we do see more zealots on the way. And he has the income to do this because he has the two bases. That queen gets killed as well and the other one getting picked up. I don't know. There's still five zealots here. Sits rather. And there goes one. The stalker trying to do damage. It is really low. It has four kills though. But that roach is going to clean it up. The phoenixes are lifting up roaches just to add in as much damage as they possibly can. I don't... Oh. Oh. Idra. Oh. Oh. That's... That's not very nice. So he dances the zealots just because I did not expect that one at all. Yes, I, I know that he is the BM player, but I, th I thought I thought that would be a little a little uh, little bit more mild mannered. But that is not the case. God must hate Kapok Kapoch because he only allows him to make zealots and phoenixes. Now stalkers finally being able to be added. But oh. Oh god, Idra, like, I, I I, think you're a pretty cool guy, I love to see you play, but come on, <laughs> that was a bit excessive, but hey, Kapoch coming with the win, Idra not responding to this very effectively, yeah, he had the spores, but he didn't scout it in time, he did not see this coming at all. And that was only off of four gateways, I actually really like this build, I might actually want to start doing this, he was also transitioning into Robo, behind all this, getting that um, Colossus tech on the way, as well as an Immortal. So definitely a game to look back on. And Idra, if he just went like, well, Spire would have went badly. Roaches did go badly, as well as Zerdlings. I don't know. I'm not a Zerd player. I don't know timings, but maybe if he had a lot of Spines. Spines are a very, very good investment against these all-ins, I believe until those immortals come out, but while the immortals are coming out, then you can macro up other units, such as a lot of lanes to take care of them. There were no sentries, so if you got a nice surround, even in surround situations, the zealots don't fare too very well, so gotta keep that in mind. Either way, though, a pretty good match overall, a nice build from the Protoss player, and a good game at the end of the day.